Hey, what's going on, Charlie here? I'm Jean. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. All right. All right. It's time for some rye whiskey. Uh, shout out to John and Lindsay for Truth, Proofs, and Fire Water Reviews for motivating her to buy this. Yes, they um, chose this as their uh, impress guest. Special occasion. Special occasion. Special occasion. One. And I, I remember thinking, huh, I've never even seen that anywhere. So when we were in Kentucky on the, the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, I saw it and I'm like, Lindsay said it's good. I'm going to try it. I'm going to get one. Well, John and Lindsay both said it's good. This is the, uh, this is the Jefferson. Yeah, they, they did, they both chose the same. The same yeah, yeah, they did. Sorry. Jefferson straight rye uh, whiskey. Um, finished in cognac cast for nine to 19 months. Couldn't mm -hmm. find a ton of information about this um, as far as age statement, age statement, mash bills, anything. Uh, right. It's a straight, so, and it's a rye, so we know it's at least 51% rye. We know it's at least four years old. Uh, straight has to be at least two, but if it's underneath four, it has to have an age statement. This does not, unless it's written teeny tiny here on the side, and it's not. Uh, so we know that this is at least four years old. Every now and then, they'll sneak a microscopic print in there on you. I know I won't be able to read it without them. Yes, yeah, so it's four years old, but uh, they did their, their, you only need five rise. And their number one was the Jefferson, or was the uh, James Pepper Single Barrel, which we just picked up six of. Well, it wasn't listed one through five. There were different occasions. Yeah, different occasions. But their daily sipper was the, the James Pepper Single Barrel, which we just did. Announcements real quick before I forget, because I keep forgetting. Uh, we just did. We went to the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Easy for me to say. We interviewed Adam Edwards, and we'll have a whole rabbit hole playlist. That was our 100th episode. Dying. That was our very 100th episode. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> you got my Christmas ho math shirt on. Ho, 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 because oh. it's to the power of three. Yeah, it in is. In case some people don't know what that little thing means, yeah. that means you multiply this by itself three times. So, ho, 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 ho. ho. Yeah, figure it out. Um, so, yeah, that was our 100th episode. So we're growing, we're getting bigger. Throw us a subscribe if you like. It's free, it didn't cost you a dollar. And you get to see all the 53 bottles we came back with from the Kentucky Bourbon Trail as we review them over time. What you getting on the nose there, Jean Marie, on this, this Jefferson Rye Whiskey? This is a happy nose. I get, I get that, the spearmint <sighs> with- it Smells like home, um, it smells like home. Some orange, I, I get the orange. Orange pills, orange slices, and spearmint. It's rye. It lets you know it's a rye. There's no mistake in this as a rye. You get your kitchen, I guess there are any spice in the kitchen, it's a kitchen spice. You get your baking spice, you get your nutmeg, you get your anis, you get your, a little bit of sage in this actually. Yeah. Uh, honey, mandarin orange. Croutons. Flavored croutons, maybe not just straight normal croutons. Like a buttery Texas toast. Yes. Crouton. Boom! Nailed that one. A uh, bit of spearmint. Actually, a lot of spearmint, but a candied, spearmint. candied spearmint, kind of like uh, the uh, spearmint uh, little half moon shaped gummy thing that's covered in sugar. You know this little orange wedges, little orange. Well, they have they have a spearmint oh. wedge. And no one ever got the. It was green. No one ever took it out. It's just huh. spearmint wedges. I've never had an experiment. I like before. the lime, the grape, and the spearmint. Uh, the orange wedges. slices, I've had those. Yeah. Those are you know, easy to find. The grape ones are good up. too. Grape, I've had the grape ones. Yeah. Man, this is just an inviting nose. I'm going to say, I'm going to guess and say, and if you know the mash bill, because I could not find it, please let us know down in the comments. I'm going to guess this is at least 65 to 70% rye. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any. See, I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting heavy rye notes. I'm getting. Um, Mm, it's delicious. just the spearmint is is definitely heavy with this. It's spearmint and orange. But it's not off putting. It's no? delightful. It's well blended. I would I actually would not guess this was a rye. How would you not guess this is a rye? I just would cuz I'm not getting like the uh, I'm not getting heavy sage or um I want to do the Kevin Callister what do you mean you don't think this is a rye? 
This lets you know it's a ride. It's waking up in the bed. It's like a human alarm clock. Now what time do I get up? 6 a.m. Oh, alarm's gonna go off. I'm a ride. I'm a ride. I'm a ride. I'm a ride. It's smack. Hit the snooze button. This lets you know it's a ride. Thank you. In my opinion. Thanks. I'm gonna have to go in. Go, have a go in. <laughs> Slap me. Tell you what. Oh, that's just that's delightful. Smooth caramel, smooth honey, mm. smooth rye, smooth spearmint. This is a cool cat coming in at you. It's very creamy. It's more bourbony mm. than I expected. For me, this is a bourbon finish straight up. There's not a, not a rye finish. No. I'm not going to agree with you that I would not know this is a rye based upon its mid palate and finish. But I mean, there's there are some rye notes. I'm yes. not saying that yes. that it's not. There's, there's rye in there, but for me, the other notes are heavier. I would say this would be a high rye mash bill mm -hmm. instead well, of a rye. Well, I know, but I'm saying yeah. instead of it being 51%, I would say it'd be more like, I would say 35%. For me, it's I, I get the rye, but for it to be called a rye, it has to be 51. So it, for me, it opens up beautifully with what's on the nose with those rye notes. Immediately, quasi immediately transfers into a gorgeous honey butter that's creamy and just melts away with a touch of pepper, touch of cinnamon, melts your tongue, coats it, and the finish is cream vanilla. I, I would say this is orange sherbet, creamy orange sherbet. Oh, that's a great note. That's with but with a with a little bit of spearmint. That's a great note. Um, and now I'm getting your toast. Yeah, this is like your a crouton. This is a Charlie ice cream sandwich. Let me tell you folks about the best ice cream sandwich you'll ever have in your life. It's freaking delicious. You get a couple pieces of bread. I, I, this is coming from a rye guy, okay? So yeah, I can see how he likes it. I prefer wheat or multigrain toast. You do whatever you want. Why? It doesn't really matter as long as it's toasted. It has to be toasted. Has to be toasted, folks. Can't use regular bread. Toast that to get a nice, nice toast in on your toast to bread, right? And then you put one half down, scoop up at least two scoops of orange sherbet. Put the other bread on, squash it a little bit. All right, right there is a fine time on a summer afternoon. If you want to know what it tastes like, pick oh, up delicious. a bottle of this. Oh, it's delicious. Orange sherbet sandwich. You but know? that's what I'm getting out of this is his orange, the creaminess of the orange sherbet and a, and a toasted, um, just a piece of toasted bread. I forgot to tell you, 47% ABV, 94 proof. So it drinks, actually under that. For me, it, it drinks about 45, a little bit under that. Oh, brought out, brought out the orange. You know that with that orange sherbet. Maybe a, easy. Maybe a touch of ginger now. Oh man! I got a lot of ginger on something else recently, but this is just a hint, maybe, of ginger. <sighs> Thank you, John and Lindsay, for suggesting this to us. Uh, we would not. Well, we probably would have bought it if we would have seen it anyway, but we would not have known. To look for it. A drop of water made it even more creamy. Yeah, this is a delight. Mm. Maybe um, a touch of raspberries now. I was thinking lime and raspberry sherbet in addition to the orange. Mm -hmm. if you didn't say it out loud. Mm. Yes, thank you mm -hmm. guys because wow. What do you think our score like is going to be? Guess along with us. Play the game. Put it down in the comments real quick. Pause the video if you need to. What do you think our score is going to be? No one's gotten, gotten it right yet. So I thought How do you know? Did I read the comments? Just because they're not commenting doesn't mean that they didn't get it right. People who are commenting and guessing have no one's gotten it right yet. Oh. Which I thought somebody might cheat. Like, yeah, I got it right every time. But nobody's not. Everybody's being honest about it. It's kind of neat. It's fun. I'm having fun with it. To me, this is an easy and solid game. I want to guess you. I'm going to say you did a 90. What'd you do, Gene? I did a 91. Did it 90? 90. I thought you were going to do an 89 or a 90. No. Uh, no, I like it. It's it's so yeah. creamy and and the, the the peppers are on the back end with um, that that toast and spearmint. Mm -hmm. I, I I like it. I want an ice cream sandwich now, but a Charlie ice cream sandwich. They're freaking delicious. Don't sleep on them, folks. Try it out. And if you're skeptical, I'm sure you have a child who can make you you can make them eat it. <laughs> no. 
I tried it. I don't know how I'm doing nicely, but I, I only like it with, I've tried it with vanilla and other flavors. Nah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, be sherbet. orange sherbet. Gotta be a sherbet, orange preferably. One of a kind, this guy. Oh yeah. Although, if you tried it and you actually have had one and you agree with them, please, I would like to know. I was dipping fries and frosties in the 70s, folks. I'm, a, I'm well above the curve on my time. I am. <laughs> Anything to add, Jean? <laughs> Nothing else to add. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Cheers.